let's have a look at part B now. Suppose that the benefit of the bridge to Smallville is gonna be 125 now. So the data changes a bit. We have the benefit to Smallville of 125. The benefit to Tiny Town, I think it was the name, is still 60 and the cost of the bridge is 100. Now let's see what's going to be the decision in this case because they still decide independently. So we start by using the same logic. So we're going to compare the benefits minus the cost to see what is the net result for every city. For instance, in the first cell over here, what happens if Tiny Town builds and the other guy, Smallville, I think, also builds? Uh, well, let's see. If Tiny Town builds, his benefit is going to be 60 and the cost is going to be spread for the two of them, meaning that the cost is going to be 50-50. So we're going to have a 50-50 cost. For Tiny Town, that would be a net result of 60 minus 50. Now, what's going to be in the second case for Smallville? His benefit is 125. So 125 minus the cost of 50. Now what's going to be the result over here? The payoff for the first guy for Tiny Town is 10. The payoff for the other guy would be equal to 100, um, 125 minus 50. That would be 75, right? So 75 over here. Now we go to the next cell. We go to the next cell over here. If Tiny Town builds and the other guy decides not to build, in this case, he would have a cost of zero. Tiny Town would incur the entire cost of 100. So what would be his net benefit? Well, that would be the benefit of 60, right? 60 for Tiny Town minus the entire cost of 100. And for the other guy, he would have a benefit of 125 minus no cost, minus zero. So the payoffs over here would be minus 40 and 125. Now we go to the next cell, same logic over here. What would happen if Tiny Town does not build, but Smallville is going to build. Well, in this case, the costs are reversed. Tiny Town has zero cost and Smallville will incur the entire cost of 100. Well, let's see what would be the net results. For Tiny Town, the benefit would be still 60 minus a zero cost. And for Smallville, the benefit would be 125 and the cost of 100. So it would be 125 minus 100. Now, what's the net payoff over here? 60 minus zero would be 60 and 125 minus 100 would be 25, okay? We do one more. Over here, the last cell, if none of them builds the bridge, again, they will have no benefit from it, but also no cost because they're not building it. So it would be a payoff of zero, zero. Now with this in mind, we're gonna apply the method of solving a game theory question, meaning we want to see what's going to be the Nash equilibrium. For instance, if town, if T, I forgot the names all the time, if T, builds the bridge, what is S going to do? What is the second player going to do? Well, let's see. If this one builds it, then we're looking at the second cell. That's the payoff of the second player. 75 versus 125. 125 is higher, so he would decide not to build. Now we go, we go over here below. If T does not build the bridge, then Smallville, what is he going to do? Well, he has to choose between 25 and zero because we look at the second cell, remember? Uh, so 25 is greater, he would decide to build as well. I'm sorry, he would decide to build. So if T doesn't build, S will decide to build. We reverse the roles now. We go to the, to the perspective of this player. So if Smallville decides to build, what is T going to do? Well, T chooses between the first payoffs, 10 versus 60. 60 is, a gr is greater than 10, so he would decide to not build. And if we go in the other case, when S does not build, what would be the choice of T? Well, minus 40 is worse than zero, so he would go for not building either. Now, what is the Nash equilibrium in this question? We can see that it is build versus not build, meaning that Smallville is going to build the bridge and uh, Tiny Town, I think, is not going to build the bridge. So S builds, S builds, T doesn't. What is the idea here? This is an idea of free riding, right? The intuition is this, for Smallville, the fact that he has such a high benefit of 125 for building the bridge, he's willing to incur the entire cost because it's just, it's worth enough for him to do it. Whereas in the previous question, we saw that the Nash equilibrium was that none of them is gonna build the bridge. Why? Because when they compare their benefit relative to the cost of doing it by themselves, it is not worth it. And indeed, we saw that if, for instance, if Tiny Town would do the bridge by himself, he would have a benefit of 60 minus the entire cost of 100, that's minus 40, that's a loss. 
And for uh, the other guy, for Smallville, if he were to do the bridge of getting 75 worth of utility minus the cost of 100, that would be a net, a net score of minus 25. It's again a loss. Whereas in this case, whereas in this case, we can see that Smallville has a positive net benefit of 25. 125 minus 100 gives a net score of 25, meaning it's a positive utility by building the bridge by himself. So he's willing to do, and of course, the other guy is just going to free ride. He's not gonna pay it, but he's gonna benefit from the bridge. And what is the net result for each of them? Well, although S, although Smallville is going to build it, he's going to have a net score of 25, but the other guy is gonna have a net score, a net utility of 60. So actually, the guy who's free riding has a better utility in the end. That is the idea. Hope this makes sense, and we are done.